Have you seen him? He's been missing since he got fired as a producer. And he sucked anyways. It's week six and we followed around the production department. Let's see how the week went while we go try to find him. Hippie Genius House scene mm -hmm. in their uh, living room. We are on University Street in front of some campus housing here and um, this is actually one of the fraternity houses for Greek life on campus here. Well production design works with locations and props and I also do set design, set dressings. A, uh, a lot of the work that I do I'll come in early, dress the sets, make them look how the directors want and that is pretty much it. Okay, we're Before we start filming anything, uh, since I am the first assistant director and first safety officer, um, I have to give a meeting, a safety meeting, going over things like bathrooms, where snacks are, where people can be, um, any sort of like notes for the location that everyone should know. I pretty much just tell everyone what they're allowed and not allowed to do while on set. And then everyone has to sign the thing. So Alex, did you sign the thing? I did. Okay, good. Watch. My name is Abby Hermosilla. I am Second Second Assistant Director. No. Second Second deals with extras mainly. So today we have a few hippie extras. They come in gracefully, you know, by our casting director's lead. And, um, you know, I placed Paul out there on his little mattress. <laughs> You know, like Buddy, if when he's just like, all right, we got extras, that means Abby. That means Abby's just gonna put them somewhere. That means me. So we'll set it off at that time in order to get the most. A mystical scene of Liz and Jane before they meet the creature known as Haggity Bo. Yes. Watch out. Apparently, we are unloading some stuff from the truck to put in the basement for a scene for tomorrow. For tomorrow. So, we have to clean the basement, so that'll be fun. So production design starts first with locations. Now we're on University Street in the chapel and we got to use their basement thanks to one of our crew members who's got the affiliation with this house and I work with a props master, location manager and um, myself, I am the set dresser as well. So we get to come in to all these locations and really for me it's like a canvas. It's like a blank canvas. I'll come in and just rearrange everything, take stuff out. Today we got free furniture from a person next door and I got to bring it down here and dress the set with it. Before we even like get here, as soon as we get on set, I go around and inspect the entire building and make sure there's no safety hazards, there's no gas leaks, there's like the AC is grounded or like any generators that they have are grounded and in working order and not leaking. Like I inspect locations head to toe and make sure that I can go into a place and light a lighter. <laughs> Get ready! <laughs> Property Master is in charge of finding all of the props that we're going to use for the film and during production kind of just maintaining them, holding them between takes, um, making sure everything doesn't get broken or misplaced and stuff like that. The most difficult part I would say is um, when something gets broken like in the moment you have to rush and try and fix it. Like the other day the brooch which is one of our main props for this film mm -hmm. got broken and we were rushing to find like super glue to like you know put it back together. And um, 
Other than that, I would say restaurant scenes are also tricky because you have to kind of like make food and like make it look like it's, you know, appetizing and edible. Mm -hmm. That sounds huge. Can you see your lips moving in now? As you can see behind me right now, what? What? I'm back with more of the footage. Okay. Sure, they got what they need. That's so good. We're going to go on to the next shot. It's bad. Well, we're back to square one. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Don't you look at him. Get out of here. Yeah, you can stay, man. Okay, I'll be a good day today. So far, so good. That's how it's the best way, is it? Obtain that seven digit code by any means necessary. Okay? Alice and I will complete the rest of the mission. shooting scene 12 where Sam gets beat up by uh, a business guy because he rear ends him. Okay, now... Uh... See, he had the very nice car for the eccentric billionaire. My car was Sam's car because yes. it's the worst car in existence. My name is Alyssa Stanton and I'm the second assistant director of Unlucky. Um, I am basically the second in command on set. I follow whatever Hannah orders me to do, and but it's mostly offset. I'm doing all the work. I do um, call sheets. I occasionally have to confer with Anna on scheduling. I have to work with locations. I have to work with the directors and the producers just to make sure that every single thing for the call sheet is correct because it all has to get approved. And that's basically how everyone in the cast and crew knows what's going on the next day and a couple days after. I guess an insert, it's one of those tiny scenes in between other scenes that aren't, I don't want to say they're not necessary, but they're not uh, very detrimental to the plot if they didn't exist. But So it's just something super tiny, we might as well get it now while we're here. All about the fans right now, are you trying to say that it's hot in here? I'm trying to say that it's 95 degrees and we're in a abandoned factory. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little toasty. Oh, we got like 3,000. You got 3,000 fans? Yeah, Tracy's not possible. Look at the fan. Look how beautiful that is. Why is that? Melting fruit snacks. Hanging them and in front. Oh. non-existent peppermint patties. Oh, the peppermint patties are my favorite. Put them in the fridge. Sometimes we have to change our walkie-talkie frequency because we either interfere with a Burger King or the police department. So we switch usually between five and seven. I like my position because there's like a lot of pressure on the first AD. Does everyone sign as a paperwork? Hooligans not signing the safety paperwork. So I just kind of step up when she needs to break or if there's other things going on that she has to take care of. And then I can just kind of like sit at the sidelines because this is my first year doing any of this stuff and I'm like a sophomore now. 
so I can kind of like watch it. Kenny's being stubborn right now. We interviewed already. Kenny, interview? No. Yeah. No. Hey, Kenny. No. Interview? No comment. No. Interview, Kenny? No. <laughs> Kenny, interview? Let's do an interview about no. about you not wanting to be interviewed. So would you mind explaining what your responsibilities no. are? No. Oh, no. 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 Kenny, please. 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 Comment. Can't seem to find him anywhere. Right there. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go. No. No, don't touch him. Paul? Paul? Paul! Carly? Kayla? Yeah. You guys want some cake? No. I'm 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 good, thank you. You sure? What what what, what happened? How long have you been out here? Two weeks. It's been a day. Uh, it's it's been a day, Paul. A day? Yeah. What happened? I got fired. I lost my job. I lost my house. I don't know what to do. Paul, you were never a producer. Yeah, I was. No, you weren't. You were just seeing what it was like to be one. It was not real. What? You were never a producer. Well, I'm still director behind the scene? Yeah. Still in production? Yeah. You guys still want to do this? Yeah. Have it now. Stop being sugar. You ready to do this? Come on, let's go. We need to. Yeah, I'm ready to do this. Um, what happened to your shoes? Don't worry about the shoes. Let's do this. Is that it? Okay. Would we follow around production department? What week is that? It's week six, Paul. Week six? Week six. We hope you guys enjoyed week six. Let's do this. Let's go. We're still in this.